Hello Masoka Universe. Uh, yeah, when I made the video this morning, uh, the one about Betis losing to Valencia, I said I'm not gonna do probably a video tonight. And I actually wanted to do a video tonight. I wanted to do a short video uh, since you know now from my last collection. I thought maybe let's look at the, a few of the remaining four Milan jerseys that I have so far. And no, it's only temporary because collection might always grow. But yeah, uh, I ordered two shirts today, but they are neither Milan nor Lask, so um, gonna look forward showing you the, uh, these, 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 these two uh, great shirts. And uh, one is on my one of my two top 10 lists of jerseys that I wanna have, so I'm quite happy about it. And I'm wearing PSG for no particular reason, except that I absolutely love this jersey. It's pretty as hell. But today's results. Where shall we start? Let's start in Germany. Uh, Augsburg against, against Dortmund. I just finished watching the highlights. Uh, I could, could, couldn't watch it live. Dortmund actually had the better of the game and then out of more or less nowhere, G, uh, Dong Wong G, uh, former Dortmund player who never played for the first team, scores a goal on the second try completely against the run of play. I mean, it was not that Dortmund had great chances, they didn't, but they were by far the more active team and the one that was moving forward. And then Augsburg gets the 1-0 uh, goal and that's what for halftime. And Dortmund seemingly was shocked and it got even worse because G made his second goal in the 67th. So 24th and 67th, he scores two goals and then Dortmund needed to come badly. And yeah, they got the goal through Alcázar in the 81st on an assist of Götze, but then they couldn't really get any big chances anymore. It was even that Augsburg could have made it 3-1 um, on the counter-attack. That's a bad result. If you don't want Bayern to win, and you know, Augsburg just played at home to Bayern, were also ahead and lost to Bayern 2-3. Now they make it 2-1 uh, against Dortmund, and yeah, Augsburg is very close to Bayern, and you know, the Bavarian Southern Germans stick together. Um, it all depends now what Bayern will be doing, but let me, let me check. I actually haven't really checked the Bundesliga games this week, I was so... Bayern will play against Gladbach. Well, there's a chance for a slipper, but the way Gladbach has been playing lately, I don't quite see it. Uh, that's actually also another big game. As I said, this weekend is full with big games. And Gladbach, uh, Bayern is maybe not as of recent, but in the 70s, 80s, this was a, a super clash. So yeah, uh, Augsburg actually um, helps itself a lot with this result. Uh, them. I mean, Dortmund now is still three points ahead of Bayern, but you know, it might be level and, and still a uh, goal differential will help them. Augsburg now gets some distance from Stuttgart, and yeah, they might just make it. They might just make it. Uh, Stuttgart relegation spot, although Hannover is not too far behind, and Nuremberg is also not too far behind, but you know, those three are the ones that will be in the relegation zone. So that was Germany, first favorite slip up. Uh, quickly, I haven't seen anything from Spain, but Girona beats Rayo 2-0. Uh, Rayo sometimes has good games, sometimes not. Stuani makes both goals in this case, let me see, and um, in the 30th, and 85th, and 60th, uh, Bar for Rayo was sent off. And the Rayo, yeah, 23 points now on 19 spots deep in the relegation zone. Yes, Girona is moving out again. So, uh, very interesting. But then the other result, uh, and I saw, I mean, I did not see the entire game until the very, the last two minutes, because I saw how it was going and I said, nah. Kaliar Inter, this is going the way I want it to go. I'm not gonna watch this because I might jinx it. Uh, Yes, I'm crazy. My wife said, you're yeah, absolutely nuts. Uh, I went on a YouTube watching binge, uh, watching someone react to Pink Floyd songs, which is a fun thing to do. Uh, I love Pink Floyd. absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, 
And then I saw the last two minutes, I saw the result went one way, and then I watched the 15 minutes that actually produced the goals uh, between Cagliari and Inter. And if you know anything about me, you know already who won. But if you didn't, um, free kick in the 31st minute, Chepite, uh, goes in, uh, Cigarini puts it in, uh, in the box and uh, Cepitelli with the header makes it 1-0 for uh, Cagliari and right thereafter they have a huge chance to make it 2-0. From what I could tell from commentary it was a deserved uh, lead. At that point Inter had maybe 10 minutes played nicely and then Cagliari just did it to them and got the lead and probably should have been 2-0 up by the 33rd minute. But Inter is one of those teams that Ice cold, cold blooded team. Uh, Nangolan gets a ball, crosses it in, and Martinez, Latoro Martinez, just bangs it into net for 1 1. Basically, one chance, one goal. Typical Inter. Then they actually had a little bit the upper hand and uh, had a chance to make it potentially even 2 uh, 1 for them. But fortunately, Cagliari came back and Pavoletti wonderfully makes it a cross in and he directly takes it and it's low in the corner. 2 uh, 1 for Cagliari, absolutely deserved lead. I uh, have not seen anything from the second half, but from uh, what I could tell in the end, I mean, at the very end, there was a half chance where the goalkeeper would not have gone to, but it lands on the net and that was basically it for Cagliari. Um, commentator said well-deserved victory and I would say I think so I mean um, let's see the game stats of course Inter then had more shots on goal and over goal had more um, possession so I think they probably could go to dancing but from, from what I've seen Cagliari is a lively team I saw them when they lost uh, at Milan they are a lively team that actually um, should uh, I knew that they can give Inter some trouble, but I didn't expect it because Inter cold blooded against Fiorentina. And now, again, I mean, they got a cold blooded uh, equalizer, but it's too bad for Cagliari. Now, that's the good news for me because I want Milan to overtake Inter. And Milan with a home game against Sassuolo tomorrow or today when you're watching this has a huge chance of doing so. Will they do it? That's where I'm not so sure. Uh, to be honest, it's just too good to be true. If Milan wins, they're one point ahead of Inter in third place. If Roma wins, they go level with Inter. But Roma has to play a derby. And Sassuolo is also not that bad. Uh, Cagliari now gives itself a cushion to its relegation zone, which is also nice to see because I really think Cagliari belongs in Serie A. Well, that was Friday. One is two slip-ups by favorites. One I didn't like, one I do like. That's my personal feeling. Uh, from a neutral perspective, two slip-ups uh, by fav favorites making for an interesting league. But I'm afraid that at least Dortmund, they're not, they're not going to win the championship. I, at this moment, I don't see it. They have, they have really hit a rough patch. And even when Marco Rojas has come, 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 come back, they cannot win. I just thought that the Leverkusen game will get them over. Nope. Doesn't look good. I'm sorry to say. Well, let me know what you thought about uh, these games, whether you watched any. Um, as I said, yes. As a Milan fan, and I'm wearing it on, on, on my sleeves, I'm giddy that Inter is losing, but I know exactly that the last time I was as giddy, uh, Milan didn't get the result. So I'm uh, wary now and I don't want to get too uh, cra crazy about it. And yeah, I actually feel, you know, the more I think about the Fiorentina Inter game, the more I distance my fandom from it. I really, I, I can feel with Inter. Uh, this must have hurt to get that penalty. Um, was it, I think the draw was still the correct result, but I gotta say, this was not, not easy uh, to swallow. And now you have this result and Spalletti already is uh, thinking that he gets fired and yeah, they play against Frankfurt and I think Frankfurt will give Inter also some trouble. Uh, not good times for Inter. Um, and 
despite being a Milan fan, I actually think Milan and Inter are two teams that absolutely belong in the Champions League. But you know, I already stated I Juve Napoli, of course, will go in, and I think I want Milan and Roma to go in. Uh, if it all or only for me, but um, I recognize, you know, I do have certain respect for Inter. I just want to say it out out loud, so uh, I'm not the one all against Inter. Although, you know, the fan always goes there. Again, let me know what you thought about those games. Give me a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. And yeah, the short video will probably come on Monday. Let's see. Up until then, bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day